Hello. Oh, I'm a little dark. Let's see if I can lighten me up a wee bit. Uh, okay, so now it is time. To prepare for the dub. Okay, so I'm making an AAF for the sound dub. Now, here's a thing to watch with Final Cut Pro. You can see my timeline here. It all looks very neat. Look, it all looks like, you know, there's, there's essentially like four audio tracks. However, each one of these has potentially eight different elements of audio. And if I'm not careful, all eight of those will get a track to themselves. Each, including like five, six, seven, and eight, are all silent, absolutely silent. It's hidden. Final Cut's really good at hiding this stuff from you so it doesn't interfere. You only deal with it if you want to. And that's great for me as an editor. But it's an it's a minefield when I'm when I'm translating this for the sound dub. So what do you have to do? Well, here's what I would advise. Let's have a wee look. Boink. What I do is in my little index here, timeline index, I go show audio lanes. And this is a more traditional kind of lane based thing you might get in a track in LE. But we're not done yet. Then what you must do, highlight everything, and then go to expand audio components. Now, we are looking at something that is far more analogous to what the guy will look at in Pro Tools if we just give him an AAF based on that. You see how there's just a ton of these little tiny audio tracks and in a track-based system, they would all get their own tracks. So suddenly we're dealing with tons and tons and tons and tons of tracks. This is what you have to look at and tidy up before you make an AAF for your sound dubber. Now, in this view, if you highlight clips can see it's already highlighted in the inspector at the top right. If I hit the backspace key to delete them from the timeline, they're not deleted, they're just deactivated. And that's essentially what I want to do. You can either do that or opposite way about up here and just deactivate them. All these silent channels don't need to go anywhere and you can see as I deactivate them, they vanish from the timeline. Again here, this this one, I've got eight audio channels. This is just this little shot of a lighthouse. Oh no, it's this shot of this guy walking away. No, I want to keep his audio. I want to keep his little footsteps marching away and I want the sound dub to have that audio. But I don't need all these silent channels. There's four silent channels here that I don't need. So if I just turn them off, you'll see them vanish from the timeline And it all starts to look slightly tidier. So I'm just going to go through and I can just see from the waveforms which of these have audio and which don't. And I can just delete from here. Like I say, I'm, don't worry, I'm not deleting anything. I hate deleting stuff. I'm just deactivating it. And then when I export my AAF, I specify that I do not want to include deactivated audio channels. And it's starting to look, you see at the moment, because I've still got these ones down here, I haven't reduced the amount of audio tracks that the poor sound dubber has to deal with. The most we're ever getting here is two channels, two clips with four channels each. Yeah. It should be eight channels of audio, eight tracks of audio in Pro Tools for the sound dubber of camera stuff. 
then there will be some effects, then there will be some music. And you can see immediately the whole track has jumped up to tell me if I zoom back out, it's a wee bit better, but still this is this is too much here. Yeah. We can go further here as well. Silent tracks. And, and you can see the bottom of this audio kind of lane hasn't moved because something else is, yeah, this one, these two, in fact. Get rid of that. This hasn't jumped up because there's still something holding it back. I don't think I can do anything about these. I want, so I think this is about as, This music, yeah, so we're right up against this one. I don't think there's anything I can do about that. I think we're going to get eight tracks because I want all four of this clip and I want all four of this clip to be available. So I think what I have here now is far cleaner. I predict there's going to be eight, ten, eleven or twelve tracks in... Pro Tools. Far better than what we were about to deliver. And now I'm going to hide the audio lines again. And you can see in this view, nothing has changed since from when I started. It's just all the hidden audio tracks that have been removed. And so this is, this is why it's so easy to let something like this slip through the net because from the normal view in Final Cut, it looks like nothing has changed. It looks like I've done nothing whatsoever because when I'm editing, I don't want to deal with all those silent audio channels. So they're just hidden. It's really good. It's, it's not a problem as an editor. It only becomes an issue when I'm translating into a track-based system. Uh, like another track in NLE or Pro Tools for the dub. So I'll export an XML for AAF and it just takes a jiffy and then I'll open X to Pro. Okay. And then all I do is I navigate to the XML I've just made and I tell I see where I want the AAF to go I'll make an AAF folder and the uh, reference wires in place trim embedded audio right that's what I want no I want 24 bit Force embedded order to 48k. Discard inactive clips. That's the whole point of what we've just done. Trim handles two seconds. People usually like about five seconds, actually. That's what I'll make. Um, I'll just merge sub roles. Doesn't really matter because I don't really. I don't think I've got any sub roles. And uh, that should be fine. Let's see what happens. So what we're seeing here is some of the loudness adjustments aren't supported in the AAF, which is fine because the dubbing mixer will do that themselves. Let's see. How big this AAF is. Less than two gig. So I'm just going to upload that. There we go. So uploading that. I'll pop it off, check the guy's happy, for it is a guy in this instance, and uh, we'll get ourselves a sound dub.